Hey guys, it's MH Finn back with another video regarding options on Robinhood. This time we're talking about Theta, one of the most talked about Greeks. Let's get started. In order to understand Theta, you have to get down to the basics of understanding what makes options unique compared to stocks. When you buy a stock, you are in essence betting on direction, which is whether a stock will go up or down. The same is true when you buy options, but on top of betting on the direction, you are also betting on the time period. All options come with an expiration date, making option plays slightly more complex compared to stocks, which you can simply hold forever. This is where Theta begins to take form. Options come with time decay, which just means that as an option approaches its date of expiration, it loses its value. Here's a real example. We're looking at Apple options in Robinhood. Here we selected the Buy tab, along with the Call tab, and the expiration date selected for March 15th. Specifically, we're looking at the $150 strike price, which is priced at $10.80. Zooming in on the Greek section, we can identify theta, which is negative 0.065. Theta is always a negative number, which makes sense because no stock option is immune to the effects of time decay. This we will explain in a second. This number is relatively easy to understand on its surface. It just implies that the Apple March 15th $150 strike call option, which is priced at $10.80 today, will be worth $10.73 tomorrow, losing $0.0653 to theta, or time decay. This, of course, assuming all the variables stay constant. The bigger the theta, the more you are set to lose every day. Options close to expiration usually have high thetas, while those expiring far into the future tend to have very low thetas. There's more to the story, and this is where theta becomes a little more complex. To understand, we have to remember what actually makes up the price of an option. That is, intrinsic plus extrinsic value. Time decay, or theta, only affects the extrinsic value portion of an option price. This is also known as the time value. I have set up a visualization in order to demonstrate this concept. If we pretend we have a stock trading at $22 and we buy a call option for that stock with a strike price of $20, we can simply calculate the intrinsic value by subtracting the underlying asset price, aka $22, minus the strike price, aka $20. This leaves us with a $2 amount, which is the intrinsic value. We call these types of call options in which the stock price of the underlying asset is higher than the strike price in the money or ITM. This will be important to note later. Let's say the actual option price is trading at $2.50. We know we have an intrinsic value of $2. If we subtract the option price by the intrinsic value, we can get the extrinsic value, which is $0.50. Cents. Now if we look at the container setup on the left, we can see that $2.50 is the option price, and $0.50 cents of that is the extrinsic value. You can read into much more detail about this concept on sites such as Investopedia, but what is important to understand is that the theta only affects the extrinsic value portion of an option. Now let's look into another drawing that will help you grasp this concept further. If we pretend that we have a stock trading at $20 and we buy a call option for that stock with a strike price of $22, we once again can simply calculate the intrinsic value by subtracting the underlying asset price, aka $20, minus the strike price of $22. This leaves us with negative $2 of intrinsic value. Any negative number we will round up to zero, which means that this option has zero intrinsic value. We call these types of call options in which the stock price of the underlying asset is lower than the strike price out of the money, or OTM. These options are much more riskier as the underlying asset has to make some ground, otherwise the option expires worthless. Let's pretend that the actual option in our case is trading at $1, and if we subtract the intrinsic value, we get $1 of course which means that our option priced at $1 is entirely made up of extrinsic value. This also means that theta is working on 100% of the price, because remember, theta only applies to the extrinsic value. This makes OTM options much more riskier, but also in normal circumstances much cheaper. In the end, we can make a 30 minute video regarding this topic and we will probably still need more time in order to explain all the concepts and math involved. 
I hope this 5 minute video explanation does a good job of covering the basics. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. Thank you. Also, if you have any suggestions on my next video topic, please drop a comment below. I would love to hear from you.